so what's up my jamaican people and in this video what we will be doing is um i'll be sharing a video where a jamaican doctor a jamaican official was actually suspecting kishani thompson the fastest man in the world currently of duping and using steroid now i'll be playing the audio so I'll, i want you to pay very good attention after this video is been played i will share um what kishani thompson has to say about the whole situation and before i continue in case this happens to be your first time do me if you want to like this video and of course subscribe to the youtube channel the only reason why they decide to test him after um the heat and why they would have tested him after the final as well if an athlete suddenly out of the blue performs way above expectation that nobody expects that i believe that most drug testing officers will then ask that individual for a sample just to make sure that 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 performance was within the limits of the rules that are available so there's none unusual about asking some people with unusual performances for a, for a test now if you look at that race the athlete that one mr thompson out of the blocks in a flash but he was easy and he did 9.7 9.8 something he knew that he's a 9.8 man but but he has been coming back from injury. He has pulled out of races. And when people are coming back from injury, they tend to use different methods to, in, to reduce the injury time and to get them back fitter. And those methods may contravene, contravene the rules of racing. So those people are going to be targeted, especially those who are coming back from an injury and socially seem to be as good as they were before the injury or even better. So you have to now look at the people who are doing drug testing. I have no idea what the, what the procedure at JAGO is. I have an exceptionally good idea of how drug testers think. And that is my my take on what happened last night at the National Stadium. And the voice you just heard is actually a Jamaican doctor official reporting that Kishani Thompson is uh, might actually be on steroid and of course, you know, duping. So um, I will be reporting now um, the side of Kishani Thompson and what he has to say about being suspected of using steroid in order to run fast after coming back from injury. Now, what that man was literally saying was that Kishani Thompson just came back from injury and now he is running faster. That there must be something hidden under the bed and that thing needs to be exposed. And now, let me share with you what um, Kishani Thompson has to say about the whole situation. What do you want to send? What do you like to send him a message? Oh, he said that from here. Yeah. And, and I hope my season is the first time and he goes in the east. So I'm going to say this look suspicious. What? So I'm saying to him, say, you're not going to test me again. Say, well, you can break this. You can break this. You can break Yes, you can not make any sense. You guys can just wait and just catch me in the final. Yeah. And I'm going to say, no, you look suspicious. So, never do it. Eh? Yeah, but how does your body feel after such a, you know, great cause? The rounds is important thing, it's something you have to navigate in Paris. The voice you just heard was Kishani Thompson explaining the whole situation. Now let's go back to um Stephen Francis Frano and hear what he has to say and hear his own side of the story. Now Stephen Francis Frano said Kishani Thompson will not be going out in tonight 100 meter semis and final after the sprinter got home at 1 30 a.m due to a lengthy anti-doping process which forced him to abandon his re recovery regime and what the, this was um france stephen francis coach stephen francis frano speaking of um kishani thompson being suspected of using steroid and of course duping and mind you this happened yesterday right it happened before the semi-final began so um this is Kish, um coach stephen francis frano side of the story about the whole situation and what this means is that um kishani thompson was being suspected of using steroid simply because he was running faster than any other athlete um in the jamaican 100 meters national trials and i feel so sad for kishani thompson because what they did to him was so unfair at least they could have tested every single athlete that was out there at the national trials what made me sad what 
was why singling out Oli Kishani Thompson and testing him? Why not testing each and every athlete running fast at the nation, um, Jamaican 100 meters national triumphs? It seems like they have an agenda against um, Kishani Thompson because the big question is why singling him out only to test him for using steroid or using maxing agent and i feel like this is a call up to jamaicans to who, whoever it may concern this is a call up to um coach stephen francis frano to do all he can to protect kishan thompson because they are going to come for him yes they are going to try all their means to make sure um they take him down so he needs to be protected from the things he drinks, from the food he eats, and people who he associates with. Because most of the times, um, the food we, the food this athlete eat, is where they get them. They put drugs in their food, drinks, and intentionally, um, they end up eating this food and drinks. So he needs to be guided. He needs to be protected, right? Now, let me hear your own opinion about the whole situation with Kishani Thompson. Did you think it was unfair testing only him? Let me hear your opinion.